I'm trying to learn. So far, I'm very Thank you. Thank you. Now, there was a bit of a controversy with the Mormons, okay? As we know, um, Joseph Smith existed in the kind of what? Eight, what was, was his birthday? 18 what? It was 1800 or 1800s. Okay, 1800s. Okay, that was the build up to what we know as the American Civil War, yeah? Yeah. So obviously they're both at the same time. Yeah, yeah. So it's not exactly when it was going on, but yes. kind of. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, obviously there was the issue of slavery. I'm not saying that the slavery existed in Utah. Yes. Because I don't think it did exist in Utah. Yeah. Did it exist in Utah? I don't know. Whatever. No, no, no. It wasn't all over America. It was in, it's in southern states. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, but what I'm saying is, I don't think Utah necessarily had slaves. I'm not saying that. I'm not making this point. Or Missouri. I'm not sure. Yeah. But the point is, I was looking into some historical facts, right? And I, I realized that uh, not in the book of, either in the book of Mormon or in the Pearls of Great, what do you call it? Christ. Christ, okay. Which is not a book that's available in the bookstore, right? That there is reference to black people in a certain way. Okay, now let me tell you what it says. Yeah? From what I remember, because someone who is basically a Mormon told me this, yeah? He became, let's say he became Muslim, or his mother was a Mormon. He said that it says in that book that you know this whole thing of the the, the curse of Ham, which is alluded to in Genesis chapter nine verse uh, twenty two of the of the Bible. This curse is now um, spoken of in direct terms in the, in the pearls of great price. So in other words, black people are referred to as having a curse because they're black and this is skin. And now what I've seen. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Is that in 1978 or whenever it was, there was a reform within Mormonism whereby this was now not not that not something which is believed. So because you guys believe in continuous revelation, but the point is, do you not see that it's problematic that at one point that in your scriptures that there was reference to this kind of racial. Um, reference, which at the time of slavery could have justified slavery, especially to the, to the southern So, so, so you're saying that, Americans. that the reason why the, the blacks couldn't have, couldn't have this is because of slavery? No, uh, yes, at the time, oh, so this another, about how this is another, yeah. just so 19, in, no, 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 I'm saying, in, before 1978, okay. a black man couldn't become a woman, could he? No, he just cannot receive the priesthood. What's that? What's that? The, priesthood. the priesthood is the power that we use this, God the Father used to create. So, I, I thought, my assumption was that he couldn't be baptized. No, 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 no. But he couldn't go into the priesthood. You cannot receive the priesthood until, until the time that we reform. So why is that then? Uh, wait, 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 let him answer, please, because I, I yeah. want to get yes, I'm, I'm trying to educate myself. I'm not, we, honestly, I'm not trying to say, if this is coming across as polemical, yeah, no, please we forgive me. We are not the most educated in this. No, no, you guys have yeah. done the training, yeah? We're, 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 <laughs> have we're, you done the three months we're training? Done, no, <laughs> no, okay, no. We, is it three months? We're, yeah, 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 I know about yeah, it. Three months. Okay. MTC, three months yeah, training. It depends. It depends. It depends. And you guys learn a different language than that? Not all. Yeah. It depends on where you're But in three, I'll tell you something, man. In three months, you can't really learn a language. I'll be honest with you. I think you guys do it superficially. It's you not... Uh, it's, anyways. <laughs> we believe that most languages is learning when you're integrated. Yeah, you're yeah, probably right. It takes time. It takes time. But yeah. and your mission is going for about two years. Two years. Yeah. Two years. Anyways, go ahead and tell me now. So, what you believe, when you, when you talked about how the church was reformed at that time? Was it 1978? Am I right about 1978? I'm actually not sure if it was 1978. Yeah, 1978, yeah. That's what I know, but I, I, I might be wrong about it. Wrong about it. So, what I see about this is like when Jesus Christ lived, he had the apostles, right? Yeah. And the twelve apostles. And at some point, they all died. They all died. Keep going. Keep going. All right. So they all died. And then that's when the church was white. Which our belief is when the church was white from the earth. And then when Joseph Smith came, he restored our church. The true church. For us. He's talking about the, how black people are receiving the priesthood. We believe Why there are some things we don't know answers to everything. 
even in our religion, they don't tell us everything. We, and we just listen to what the prophets say and have faith that right. it is, it is the revelation given to God. Okay, can I tell you? Can I, right, let me tell you one thing. thing. I know, I'm not sure if this is true either, but I heard that you guys are not allowed to receive, like you're not allowed to hear anyone else's religion or something like that. That's not true. It's not true. Okay, no, no. Okay, it's not, okay, so you could, I'll just tell you something about my religion quickly. Go ahead. Yeah. We're Muslims. I'm yes. Muslim, yeah? yes. So I believe in Jesus Christ, that he's the Messiah, that he's the word of God, that he's, uh, you know, he does the miracles, all these things. Yes. Okay? We believe in the Virgin Mary. Yes. Um, and then we believe in the final prophet, Prophet Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad yeah? who came to the Arabia, uh, Arabian Peninsula, yes. and he said that he was the final prophet, and that there was no prophet going to be after him. It's mentioned in the Quran, in chapter 33, verse 40. But also that, he is, um, that he sent for all humankind, yeah? That's our belief. The purpose of life, according to us, is to worship in one God. Believe in the one God, is to worship one God. To submit to the God. That's it. Yeah? We say that the Quran is two things: a message and a miracle. That's, that's us. Just so that you know where we're coming from. Now, from our perspective, in, re in, regards, in regards to race relations, the Prophet Muhammad told us there's no difference between a black man and a white man, or um, Arab or non-Arab. That the best of you are those who are best in, in, in deeds. Now, if if we were to compare this statement, which came a thousand four hundred years before Joseph Smith, yeah, with with what's mentioned in the, uh, the pride of uh, in the pearls of great pride, yeah. Would you say that the Islamic notion of race relations, that everyone is equal, all the races are equal, is more or less true, more or less uh, something you, you would follow today, than that which is mentioned in the Pearl of Great Cup? I do not know. Yes, it's just like a bird or a plane. No, but what, it, what it's mentioned is that basically, the curse of the black people. Okay, so, so, in, 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 so, but it, it mentions it clearly that black people are. That's why. That's one of the justifications they have for not putting him into the previous research. Do you get me? So, what would you think is a more correct thing to say? You know that there's no difference in race, and that even if the prophet said, even if a black man was in charge of you, he's so black that his head is like a raisin. He made this for because the Arabic culture, they didn't really accept black authority. Yeah. But Prophet Muhammad, he wanted to show that the blackest of men could be the leaders and you could say nothing about it. So he said, even if the blackest man possible could be here and he was in charge, you'd have to follow what he says. Do you get me? Do you know what? Let me say something really interesting as well. Some people here in the speaker's corner were accusing Islam of being a racist religion. Yeah? I came across and a sexist religion as well. You know, you've heard this stuff. Well, you might have heard this stuff about subjugation of women. And these things. There's a hadith which is narrated in Bukhari, which is our second most authentic book after the Quran. We have the Quran, which we believe is the word of God. Then Bukhari, which is the, the words of the Prophet. This hadith says that it's related to Quran, Aqba ibn al Harith. Yeah? Aqba ibn al Harith was an individual, uh, a man. Yeah? Okay, so a woman came and listened to this. She was a black woman. I'm just gonna finish off. I'll be like three, four minutes. Yeah. All right. A black woman came. She was a black woman. Yeah. Uh, I'll just come to you. A black woman. So she wasn't just a woman, but she was a black woman. She came to the Prophet Muhammad. And basically, we have a ruling in Islam whereby if you're, if you're, if you take the milk, if you take the breast milk. Of, of a woman, you can't marry her. You're not allowed to marry her. Okay? And if a woman gave two people breast milk, like a man and a woman, then they become like um, like brother and sister. Yeah, Not exactly brother and sister, but like brother and sister. Yeah? Because, you know, they felt that kind of maternal thing. Now, black woman came and she said, I gave milk to these two guys. Yeah, Akbar ibn al-Hadith and, uh, and, uh, and his wife. That means they can't be married. Now, she was a one black woman, yeah? She gave that testimony, and he, Akbar, who's a man, he rejected it. He said, no, no, she's lying, yeah? She said, he said, she's lying. The Prophet said, didn't you hear what she said? In other words, in this situation, he took the testimony of a black woman over the testimony of two men. Now, or one man, in this case, Akbar ibn Hal. The point I'm making here is that, when it comes to Islam and race, we have a very strict policy with race. We don't believe that any one race can be any, in any time more uh, valuable than another race. This woman who was a, a black woman and the lowest of society, because not only was she black, but she was a black woman. Because women were seen as low as well, let's not lie, in that society. There was a strong patriarchy and she was not just a woman, but a black woman. So the Prophet said, you know, you have to be divorced. And he created a divorce between these two individuals based on the testimony of that one black woman, which is a very difficult thing. 
Now the point I'm making, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to you guys, is I believe that you should come to Islam. Why? Because I think you know and I know that what I've just described to you in terms of race is more commonsensical than what you had in your faith. And I believe that if you are a person that doesn't believe in racism, and I know you're not, I, I, I accept that you're not a person of racism. The only religion that is least, the, the least racist religion and the most inclusive, diverse religion in the whole world is Islam. Based on that fact alone, if you guys believe that racism is a bad thing, you should become a Muslim. I believe that Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. What do you say to that? Well, the one thing that I heard you say that, like, the only thing is, you talked about how our church had those things. Now that our church has changed and we exclude, and we're accepting of everyone, what makes it so our church is less racist? And less like, like, so what, at one point, at one point in time, the founder of Latter-day Saintism or Mormonism, Joseph Smith, who was meant to be a prophet and relieve revelation from God, had racist beliefs. Now, we're saying that these racist beliefs are unacceptable and they at no point in time were acceptable. So when he said it, it was not acceptable. And when it's said now, it's not acceptable. Therefore, we should reject him. Because what he said, is, what he said was wrong. Do you get me? So it's not about race. It's about inclusivity, diversity, obeying God, and that's what makes you a higher human being. Do you agree with me? Do you guys want to... Look, I know, I know you're on a mission. I feel like... No, no, but Nelly, we're nearly there. <laughs> okay, do you understand my point here? Now I know you're on a mission. Look, you're on a mission. You're on a mission, yeah? They, they've told you to come here, and I know it's, it's the least thing that you would have expected to come and become something else. But you know, the Bible says something beautiful. It says, Seek the truth and the truth shall set you free. Now, you all know, you've accepted my premise, that racism is intrinsically a false thing. You've accepted also that Islam, and I've given you the proof for it, Islam is a religion of inclusivity and includes all race. We've accepted also that in Mormonism, there is the idea of racism, at least it was there for a particular time. We accepted that's wrong. So therefore, when we come to an epistemological decision, which is more true, Mormonism or Islam, it seems to me like what you're saying is Islam is more true. Yeah. So you're basing the whole religion on being true, whether or not on racism? Yes, sir. Really? Yes. So, because I believe it's intrinsically true. If God is one, yeah, and that's why God needs to pick people over than other people, and God created the other people for what? For example, if God created the white people, yeah, and created the black people, why do you think? Why do you think God will prefer the white over the black or the black over the white? All of them are a good creation, so that's why the religion has to be inclusive, including all of the all of the races. So, and if there is any faith which excludes any of the races then there is a falsehood in that thing. And that's as simple as that. And, yeah, and, you know. and this includes at any time. Not any, so if there was any time, because it's not fair to say, okay, they were not included in the preset pre 1978. Therefore, pre-1978, it was okay to be racist. Because that is racism. Okay, so here we're saying what was true 1979 was true 1977, is true 1978. Do you agree with this point? Well, in 1879, was not allowed to have 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 to do you get me? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm coming from? Yeah. We understand. I, I, I see where you're coming really. from, but now our church, we receive revelation. We don't know why. We don't understand. And God has the perfect knowledge. But we can then follow him through faith, what he says through our prophets. So at that time, God had been taught. 1771. Did you look that up? It wasn't Joe Smith. Jo uh, jo Smith, by the way. It wasn't because it was continuous revelation. It was someone else, not Joe Smith. Yeah, okay, that's good. It wasn't Joe Smith that said um, that don't. It was someone else. It was someone who came after. Yeah. Benjamin Young. 
someone else. I can't uh, I don't, I don't, but if you see Islam from the beginning, for example, Islam came in uh, uh, you know, to, to an Arab prophet, which we are calling Muhammad. Brigham Young. So when, it, when Islam came to him, it's, it was resolved at that point. He said, la la, la, la. He said there is no difference setting. between an Arab and an Arab. There is no difference between a black and a white, except in piety, which means the one who is more pious, the one who is more closer to God, he is better than the others. Whatever race he is, wherever he came from, whatever whatever you know you know his his features are, he's, he's still the same. He will be he will be better than the other ones who are, for example, thinking that he's you know came from the tribes of the Arabs or whatever. So that's why it was sold at the point. So that's why why it wasn't sold at the spot at the point from the beginning at that time to say, by the way, all races, all of us, for example, all of us were the creation of God. So this is the issue here. So it, it has to be resolved in the, on the spot, on the, in the beginning of it. So in order for later people, That's they will not look down on the other races. Do you agree with me? I think that is a very respectful thing. But Do you know what the issue is here, bro? It seems like Joseph Smith, and this is no disrespect to Mormonism, I honestly don't want to disrespect you. But it, it, Mormonism and Jehovah's Witness, both of them which came out around the same time, like, there's something which brings them in common, is that they're very American religions, right? I mean, it's the land of opportunity, make your own religion. I'm not saying that that's what happened, but let's just say that that could be an extension of the capitalistic dream. Joseph Smith, he seems to have Americanized Christianity in a sense that he's now made Missouri, you know, I'm not going to say heaven, but he's made it into a special place. Apparently Jesus came to you know, America, all these things. So now it just seems like there's been an Americanization. I mean, hege hegemonic power had to, <laughs> it didn't have any uh, precursors. Like, you, know, it, no, you know, it proliferated all the way to America. So it seems like an American religion and that is in line with social understanding of that particular time. So when in the, in the 1800s it was okay to have black slaves, it was okay. It was okay to, to whip them and to, uh, to humiliate them and all these things. This was what, so he was in line with that thought. What we're saying is that now that we can look in retrospect and say this is wrong, yeah? but what happened there was completely wrong, so he was wrong. And if we say he's wrong and we come to that conclusion, then it must be the case that there must be a religion if we believe in God that is true. So which religion is there that doesn't have the curse of Ham, that doesn't have the, the problem of the Trinity, let's say, the incoherence of it, and which is believes in Jesus Christ? So you only have a So would you like to become Muslim today and wipe away all of your sins and worship one God and believe in the Quran and we'll give you the Quran and it will be a good uh, new, uh, new reformation for you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I, okay. I really. Okay. How old are you guys? We're 18. We're 18. You're still young, yeah. We're very Salva young. Salvation is a big thing, yeah. Yes. If I gave you guys a bottle of water with a drop of poison, would you drink it? You wouldn't, yeah. So you would not do the same with your salvation. So what, what we'll say is, look, okay, you're not, you don't want to accept the stuff, but if you're looking for true salvation and the truth, you should not. Tell, you shouldn't say, hey, the Quran, no way, because that's being, that's not being true to yourself. I'm a reader at this time, yeah. I said to myself, whatever is the truth, I'll accept it. I don't care whatever it comes from. If it's the truth, it's the truth. Yeah? So one advice I'll give you as a brother in humanity is give the Quran a chance. Can we agree on that? At least just read it. Can we agree? Can we agree that you're gonna you, you pray to God, yeah? If you guys read the Book of Mormon, sure, yeah, I'll read it. Yes, yes no, deal. We do that. We did that. Don't worry. No, we did that already. No, you know that. No, no, we did it. No, no, no. I don't mind if you want me to. No problem. I'll just go through it. Just read it. But I'm, what I'm saying to you is that look, if you guys are looking for the truth, yeah, if the truth is in the Quran, would you accept it? If the truth is found. If the truth, if the truth is in the Quran. Maybe I would. Why, why maybe? Why, why do you say maybe? Because we already believe. No, 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 we already believe. No, 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 I'm saying if the ultimate truth is in the Quran, would you accept it? But we believe yes. that we have all. We have the No, 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 but you, 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 you believe that. You believe that without looking into the Quran. We have testimony. We believe that the church of the Quran is joined to the church of the No, 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 testimony by who? No, no, but that's subjective. If I say to you, Islam changed my life. Does that mean it's like then, I believe it's yeah, subjective? So if I went to read the Quran and I would find truth and I would then feel like it is more true than the truth I believe now, then logically I would most likely. Okay, but what do, what do you define as truth? Because you see, some people are emotional. Some people say, when I open the Quran, I want to see this light popping out of nowhere. No. If you're looking for the truth, yeah, you need to understand if a scripture said by God, it should have no errors, no contradictions, no change. 
to me it's this. Okay, if any scripture has contradictions and errors and changes in it, can that be the word of God? If I show you contradictions and errors in the Book of Mormon, you just accept the word of God. Yes. I'm going to Book of Mormon is the most present day. Okay, okay. If, I, okay. if I show you one right now, would you denounce it? I will not denounce it. Thank you. I just want to be very clear. I said to him, the Book of God, if we have oh, errors in it, you said, no, it wouldn't. It's, it's, it's good. I said, if I show you one in the Book of Mormon, you said to me, even if you show me it, I will reject it. What that means to me, no disrespect, is you're saying, whatever you show me, I don't want to know. So I want to speak to you guys, no disrespect. Because if you came and said to me, if, the, if I show you a error in the Quran, would you reject it? I would say to you, look, I'm telling you, show me a single error in the Quran, I will leave it. One, one, one. As simple as that. One, just, one, one. Just how is it? One. I'm telling you one. You know why? Because I'm sincere. Because I'm looking for the truth. If the truth is with the moment, is a man up, up for it. So why is it when I said to you that, you said to me, you know what that means? That means even when I show you the truth, you're saying, I don't want to know. Is that being fair? It's your salvation on the line, guys. It's not a joke. It's your salvation on the line. As much as you don't want me to go hell, I don't want you to go hell. So if your salvation is on the line, if, if I show you a single error so in the book of Mormon. to heaven anyway, isn't it? No, no, no. If I show you the book of Mormon. No, no. In the book of Mormon. In the book of Mormon. If I show you one single error, would you leave it? Well, not one. I'll give you plenty. Yes. Would you think about it? Would you say, you know what, okay, because it's the word of God. I would think about it, but I enjoy Okay, so the same goes with you, my brother. These are things that are going to be on the Day of Judgment Testament to you guys. Because if you ask me the same question, I would say, show me one, one, not five. One, 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 one. Very small population. That shows, you know what that means? A book that's from God should have no errors. God doesn't make mistakes. If a book is claiming to be divine, and you find it errors, and it just doesn't add up, this doesn't make sense, this has been changed, this has been added in, you have to question it. It's not about, I'm not here to win an argument. I'm not here to, by the way, I'm not here to win an argument. Yeah, and we got, we got to do it, Carl. Are you guys doing it? Okay. Okay. But, but one you. thing that I'll give it to you guys, if you believe in God, you pray to God and say, God, whatever is the truth, lead me to that. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank